Hello everybody, Adrian Plus here. Yes, and Bridget. And we'll Hello. start with a little confession that <laughs> this week, because of everything happening in the week, our brains completely fell to pieces. We had our little grandson for two days in the wrong part of the week. <laughs> um, we woke up this morning realising we had not done our recording this week. So, so now we're in bed. Half past five in the morning. It'll be a day late, <laughs> but we're jolly well going to do it. <laughs> So hello everybody, 166. It's number 166. Shallows. And we're thinking about something that is is probably very significant to a lot of English people, but perhaps not the rest of the world. <laughs> Certainly not to the rest of the world. But um, people will have seen it, because <coughs> the, 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 the ladies' World Cup is all over the world. Women's, I think Women's we call Women's World it. Cup, yeah. Uh, Wombat's <laughs> World, World Cup. And... It was a it was a moment and just a moment mm. when one of the newest members of the team, and and possibly one of the most talented. Uh, potentially talented there are, that we've seen, made a a big mistake. Yeah, I'm sure you may have seen the image. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't. Of this girl, well, the word has been stamping or stepping or or whatever. But she unfortunately, having had a really not a very good game, um, stood, I think I'll use that word, on the back of one of the she opposing kind of teams. She walked on her. As she back, really was. Walked on but her. She, well, whatever. She, she got been, a red card. She, she's been sent off and she's got to miss two matches. So that's the situation. She had been harassed during the match, but, but rightly so, because they wanted to try and shut her down. Um, and actually, the end of it was that the person who suffered that sent her a really wonderfully warm message to which fortunately she replied mm. uh, very remorsefully mm. Mm. Um, so but it's not so much that because everybody at some point in their lives just cr screws up and does something mm. that is it is, <laughs> makes life very difficult but mm. it, it's just hit us uh, I think for me when I saw that I couldn't help thinking of moments when I could have done better and in a moment of letting go of, I don't know what of control of responsibility mm. or something mm. just um, mm. failed and mm. the consequences are greater than you thought they they're greater be. than that moment because she will now be defined mm. by this um, just as David Beckham was years ago and it took a long time for him to get that sorted and for him I mean she was the heroine now she's the villain maybe she'll become something kind of in between but it is true that it's those moments isn't it where you might say something and you don't or you might look where you're going and you don't and you fall and your identity changes you know you you may be become somebody who no longer walks or somebody who can't function properly or in her case somebody who will always have that image flown round the world to mm. define who she is but that the, the same thing happened to another very famous English footballer some years ago just one kick with the boot and it's all over the news and it certainly for him the the question after that was what he did with it and I suppose yeah. the hope is that the person we're talking about now will learn from this that mm. there are moments when if you let go it well actually it could either be disaster or something wonderful mm. if you are explosively spontaneous it's not necessarily going to result in no. something bad I mean it's interesting you're saying what, what do you do with it I mean her uh, opposing member of the team who was stood on did the right mm. thing immediately and it is what we do what the world does to things as well isn't it what we do to people who fail and fall quite drastically in a moment you know, I can think of so many politicians, so many people in the news for whom one word that they've said, one sentence, one one careless thought, let alone major, major problems, you know, can redefine who they are. It will crop up every time. 
Yeah, I was, just, I was just thinking back to people whose careers have fallen completely flat because of something they've said. And you're right, in politics in this country, and probably elsewhere, a, an unguarded moment when something about you is revealed that you had managed to not make public, it's, it's, quite, it's quite frightening to think of that. It is really. And nowadays, every little thing is visible, as with this mm -hmm. football game. It doesn't. It isn't just the people on the, watching from the side of the pitch. It's the. Mm -hmm. It's all the television cameras, all the other stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. But but the thing is, I mean, is it is it that we are something else and we're fighting not to reveal what we are, or is it that we're all a mixture of things? Or is it that um, just sometimes we get fed up, fed up with trying trying our very best or trying fairly ish to be our best. <sighs> And we're certainly not at all. And, um, you know, I think most relationships, most people in any sort of relationship will know that there is that moment where far from being your best, you are your very worst. And it's often in a situation where everything's got a bit heightened and um, there. Or is it that when you've not got round to doing your recording, suddenly at <laughs> half past five in the morning, which it is here now, you suddenly think we, we haven't done that and <laughs> and you, we scramble to get everything we need to do it <laughs> and fortunately there's something very dominant in our minds so no, I, 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 looking back there are also very good things as I said earlier that happen when you are passionate suddenly when your feelings <sighs> overwhelm you yes. um, I mean, I think one of the favourite children's stories and maybe adult stories from the time when Jesus was with us was that of Zacchaeus, wasn't it? I Zacchaeus. Mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, no, Zacchaeus. Yeah, Zacchaeus. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows he was a very little man, you know, and he climbed yeah. up into a sycamore tree. I don't know if it was a sycamore tree. I don't know about that, but anyway, he climbed up into a tree in order to see Jesus. And that moment of recklessness, now there's no doubt that everything you hear about him before that was he was not a reckless man. He was a tax collector. He was very, very unpopular. Uh, he didn't usually, I'm sure, crash around uh, in the middle of crowds climbing trees in order to see somebody. And that moment redefined him didn't it when jesus looked up and saw him why do you think it, so you one must assume surely that he already was extremely interested in either in just what was going on or who jesus was and because when finally jesus said zacchaeus come down i'm, I'm coming to your house for dinner yes he rest. doesn't quite say coming um, that's the children's song i'm coming to oh, is house it? For oh, tea. well that's <laughs> but, uh, that's what happened um, well tea in the north is dinner yeah, so that's fine that's true <laughs> but but he and he he's he scrambled down and they got on with it mm. so perhaps the, 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 the hopeful thing is that however your life is going whether it's negative or whether it's positive there are things that grow in you and move in you, mm. as with Paul, St. Paul, and his the fact that he actually wanted Jesus but was mm. battling within himself, and mm. with Zacchaeus, somebody who, as you said, was hugely unpopular with people, but somewhere in him there was another narrative, mm. something that would lead him to something else. Mm. And, and that's I'd... what Jesus saw, the potential. I mean, Zacchaeus didn't have to come down. You know, it, it, there is a moment where there is a chance, isn't there? And maybe this girl writing, you know, writing to the person who stood on her mm -hmm. will give, give both of them a really big chance to move on from that moment. Um, I mean, why Zacchaeus? What was so important to Jesus? And I think the answer has to be, it applies to all of us. You know, that that was the way Jesus was and that's the way we're supposed to be, that you look at somebody who everybody can't stand and you think, what is there? What is that something that's still there in that person 
that may be brought alive by a very generous special moment being noticed being noticed and also just yeah. being liked being yeah. being wanted to be with i mean he wanted to be with him he didn't just call him down and say uh you know you your life could change he wanted to be with him spend time with him publicly mm. he made a public statement mm -hmm. and i think sometimes even though we might feel sad that somebody we know has be has done something and become very unpopular and we might want to make a statement about it or sort of say something but to be with them to be their friend to be mm. publicly connected it's a slightly different challenge isn't it it is I, I was trying to think as you were saying that, that I mean as far as one knows Jesus was operating on orders you know there were people to be to be touched to be met to, to well, orders well he, he only did what he saw his father doing that was his mm. that was his mode I'm just thinking it's how complex I, isn't it but <laughs> how encouraging it could be though for people he was he was for, God for so people <laughs> who well I'm not going to go into the metaphysics of that for the moment but yes but the um, not till we've had a cup of tea no anyway. the um, th there'll be a lot of people and I'm so sure I've been one of them at one time or another where you feel that the direction you've taken and the place you've arrived at are, are not what you ever wanted really mm. something in you says I could have done better than this mm but you're wrestling with it but not mm. as much as you were and the idea that suddenly someone in authority someone who has the, the right and the means of saying you could be released from this yeah. says a few it's words it's not the same as saying it's not your fault is it it's a, it's saying we know you've let yourself down we know it's not the best yeah, yeah. It's, it's a discovery. I remember years ago a man who was supposed to know, hear from God, and I think he probably did because he, I used to avoid him because I thought he'd say something about me, but I remember him saying, God, God isn't interested in what you're doing. He's interested in what you're going to become. Right. And I'd forgotten that for year, for year actually, till just recently I remembered it. Um, and if you could grasp that and believe it that you are not stuck in what you are you are not stuck in where you're going that's a very interesting challenge isn't it because I'm thinking the person we've been talking about is very very young with a whole life ahead of her but what about when you when you get much much older do you still think there's something ahead that could be more what were, what were the words you said your life what did you just say about the person well, the who said, said He you. said it's not about what you're doing, it's what you're going to become. It's what you're going to become. Yeah. Well, do you think sometimes we lose sight of the fact that we can still become much more, even, even though we don't have another whole life ahead of us? We do, in a way. We have a whole life of today and tomorrow and next week. And, and t you know. I think it's something to do with permission. If I look back at my own life, it's the feeling that um, in some way, some circumstance or person or um, or, or moments coming together has said to me, it's okay, you, you can be the person you want to be and not be cancelled out by everything you've been. Mm. And we talk loosely in the Christian church about repentance and mm. all this, you know, the technical stuff. But I think that's what we're talking mm. about, that the m moment comes when you can you can not exactly move forward but accept that you you've made what you've become or what you think you are so dominant in your life mm. that you think there is nothing that can change it and then you're sitting up in a tree and watching this man going past as like with Zacchaeus and you think I wish I I wish something would happen for me and suddenly, mm. against all the odds, mm. the whole crowd there, this person stops, looks up at you, 
as he looks at you, you see, knows you. I know. It is extraordinary, says, really. He says, Zacchaeus, come down. Yeah. And he comes to your house. Yeah. And suddenly your life has changed in a way that you never expected. Yeah. And it's almost like a magic trick. <laughs> but it's permission yeah. from... Yeah, we don't talk about that as a miracle, do we? But yeah. it is. You said it's like a... Ma- but it, those are the... Those are the miracles open for all of us, aren't they, really? Um, and the response of, of this person on the Nigerian team might well be one of the most important defining moments, not just the image that, for, for her, not just the image that's going across all the front sports pages for a day or two and then will pop up again every now and then that message of of kindness and forgiveness and mm. and and understanding i mean that's that's in a way what all of us can do isn't it what the the forgiving and understanding well, but d- not necessarily forgiving because it may not have happened to us but just an understanding that it could happen to any of us that all of us actually know within ourselves that there comes a moment when far from being a heroine or a hero or mm. or anything very special you're very unspecial for a moment yeah yeah i i'm very impressed by what was said you know this person who was so warm and forgiving and all that that about the choice you make about something like that because mm. somebody else could have said this is one of the worst things that ever happened you know I, I don't know how you you could think you could represent your country when you're all blah 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 oh and stuff. there will be people saying that I'm sure there will but to have a perspective that says I need to lean back sit back and say what has happened to me has made me feel like this what would I do with this? Mm. And this other side of the of the equation, really, that the decision you make in circumstances where someone has stepped on you. <laughs> Sorry, I sound so odd, but stepping on you in many different ways. Well, yes, exactly. I know exactly. Someone has stepped on you, and it's 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 made you angry and revengeful, but you still have the option of waiting and thinking and thinking what will be the mm. the most mm. constructive useful way mm. and I think you're right it's, it's remembering your human beings isn't it mm. sometimes you're so busy being I mean in the case of this this woman who did this she's um, one of the great talents that's arisen and yeah and kind of absorbed with that thought and that feeling and what what the team needs and all that yeah I don't know every day practicing from when you're a child to the moment when you're chosen for a team and then you blow it every day yeah yeah I can think of people who changed my life with a word or two exactly I really can and that was that man was one of them that I spoke about mm. I, mean, I, hadn't, I hadn't stepped on him <laughs> but, uh, I think we need to move away <laughs> from this image I of hadn't stepped on him but I <laughs> I think we're reinforcing this image with every sentence really <laughs> but I opened myself up to what he thought uh, which I suppose was a bit of a a bit of a, a vulnerable thing to do because I was quite young and not wanting to see myself in any light other than the fact that I was whatever I thought I was but he had something to say that was now looking back really meant something mm. was saying, I think he was saying that when you look into yourself and you see rubbish mm. you look into yourself and you see you're less than you want to be mm. but don't worry too much about that because the important thing is what you will what I be see. and what you will become. Yeah. And, uh, I've always felt this with all Jesus' encounters of this odd 
type that have become such famous stories. I mean, the woman taken in adultery, poor woman, that silly title for her. And that was how she was defined by the world, the woman taken in adultery. But actually, what happened was that he says, go and sin no more, and she clearly believed that she could change. That that has right. always struck me. It wasn't a command. It I don't think it was not. It doesn't fit with with the whole the whole episode that it was a command. Now get yourself up and go and right. never person I know. And it was mm. just a moment of mm. offness. I can't remember her words, mm. but um, maybe who are so fed up with themselves. Exactly. Um, I'm wondering where on earth it's going in bed and you do it mm. and now it's time for a cup of tea yes and we'll there talk is, to you next there week is no